G'day golfers, Sangropa here with a playthrough of my main man Bacon Junkies Wild Horse Golf Course. Always LIDAR for Mr. Bacon Junkie. Let's have a look at the course. We're going off the black tees today at 7,049 yards. Par 72. Fairways are firm. Greens are soft. 7.1 green speed. It's a clear evening we're going to be teeing off on. So I'm going to be playing from pin set 4. And like always, the tournament quality courses put out by Bacon Junkie. Second to none. Great designer and um, really enjoy our chats we have on his Discord channel. Hello there and welcome so here we have PGA Tour 2K20 Nebraska's finest public golf Today course. Let's start the round with a par four. Let's get this. Let's get up and have a look. Yes, plenty of windswept plains out here, nestled in the sand hills of Nebraska. There's a few little houses around, some lovely cart paths. We will quickly spin around to see what we have for the clubhouse. Yes, just a nice little spot all ready to go. A couple of carts out the front. And let's get into it. Now, 8 mile an hour off the left side on a 400 yard downhiller. Let's just poke one out there. With a little draw, keep us out of that wind. And there we have it, Some one in the fairway, looking good, it's little setting up about nine mile an hour, oh gee whiz, I'm going to have to be careful inbound here. And he's hit a slow pitch, which means we're going to be short, but I think it should roll on and hopefully stay on the right half of the green. Which it did not. Setting up here now for our third. Let's have a shot. look at the green. It's got some very dedicated tiers to it. Some nice bunkering there. I would probably typically try and putt this, but I'm not exactly enamoured with the putting from the edge of the green. In real life you would not have put yeah, that one for par. with a wedge in your hand. And after that one, even par is just cool. Some grasses are lying around out there. Long par four. Yep, yep, we're hitting that way? Okay, I'll hit that. Yes, she's just confirming. Right, we're hitting forwards, good sign. Little cart path there, we're just going to plonk one out in the middle. This is plenty wide enough. We shouldn't get into too much trouble here. I think she's coming in for a landing on the She fairway. is coming in, John. I like that. Looks like about 150 yards to a couple go. Couple little houses in the background there. Okay, this one means we can pop one out there. A little five mile an hour blowing into our face from the left side. Means we shouldn't roll too much forward. And he's nicely on the green. And 22 oh, feet. Oh, gee from whiz! The cut. 20 through 22 foot up six inches. Let's see if it's about there, hey? Oh, it could be. It's not going to go in. No, I went right by. It wasn't bad. Green's running at 146, which is a nice average speed in the new game. And we're teeing up now on the third. Oh, another chance to have a big lash with a very poorly executed slow. Like That's probably going to go into the rough. And it is. My bad. My bad. That, John, it wasn't uh, your bad. It's my bad. Bad uh, call on my part. You ended up in the rough. Five wood. I think we're going to have to just get one back into play here. Down slope. That's nice. Get that down there. Okay. Back in the fairway. Good job. Okay. We have okay. a little. Here's our third shot. Bit of a spinner here. That is not badly executed. If it stops dead on me, nice little spin Nothing there. Wrong with that. Oh, that's Five right, John. Putt coming up. Five foot flat-ish putt. Aim for the left edge so so and good. roll in. 
Well, it's a pretty good result after the poor drive. Will bring you down to one under par. Oh, a lovely little downhill. Let's take a little bit off it, just with a draw into the hole. We may have taken a little too much off it, unless that gets a lovely roll. Which it didn't. Well, unfortunately, that's a missed green. That is a missed green, John. And second shot here on what the can fourth. we do with the chip? We can put it close. Ooh, nicely done. And on tap the it in. Shot. The wide plains of Nebraska here showing plenty of room. And a little draw off a perfect drive. Looks like this one's pretty safe. That's an interesting looking hole, isn't it? Look at that bunker there. Let's uh, let's hit a little. No, let's punch a sandwich. Let's punch a lob wedge in here with a 10 mile an hour breeze. Keep this under the wind. A little quick on it, but we do have a backstop. Approach shot worked out just fine. Okay. Let's have a look at this bunker. Right? Look at that. That's a fantastic feature of this hole. Downhiller, 13 foot it says, 14 on the card, 3 down. Let's just tickle it down here and oh, it's getting there. let gravity do its That'll job. Go down for the bird. Yep. It will. Now let's see what we can do here on the Ooh, sixth. We're just cut this into nice, the breeze. Swing, that should keep stuff. it down the left half. Up onto the hill. And this is around Give us a the view. 45 yard mark. With an 8 mile an hour breeze, I'm thinking a slight draw to get us to the front of the green. And then use the contours to feed it towards the hole. Just needed to be a little firmer. I'll tell you what, that was some. Uh some great golf I just saw in this hole. Next putt. We do have eagle. a putt for eagle. Should we go? We can this? That'll be for what eagle. What would happen if we hit it up there? I don't like it. It's three up, thirty-five. I think we're going to have to still hit it about there to take into account this large hill. Look at that swing by. Too much power into that putt. Oh, B. Right by the hole. All right, here is a look well, at our Well, what par was putt. potentially an eagle putt has and turned us into a says, green right there, putt par. Ooh, seven. I think if we just give this a belting. Come on, cut yeah, on the breeze. Not sure where this will go. I'm playing it just down the left edge, John. And I'm going for fairway. It's Second shot not a lot of fairway there, but it is fairway. And a pitch, of course, overpowered. And from 22 feet out. Six up. Looking really good. Get there. Oh. And that one drops from... As poor as our second was. It we was a great like drive and a pretty one. good putt that got us in there. Blowing out there, right to left. Seven. Let's just power it down at the pin. Oh, a little too slow, but... Seven mile an hour breeze has brought one. it back nicely. And this one's about 130 yards 130. away. 30. 35, nine mile an hour. Let's take a little bit off it. Put some spin on it. And then hit it slow. So all of our settings have been tossed out the window. Well, unfortunately, we missed the green here. Yeah, that's what this I thought, John. Third shot's looking like. Run it up. Nice. And chip. tap it in. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And that'll keep you at three under. Teeing this one up. On so the right 174, now. a 10 mile an hour breeze. We're going to have to. Let's just draw one into the wind. Ooh, this one's see what that does. A little bit. Give it a bounce. Run it up. And stop pin high in the shadow. That's not bad. Nice work. That was some good golf. 
because that is a nasty at for birdie. right side there. I've got a little bit of work to do. Putt appears to be online. Oh, cross the face. Cross the that's face. A little bit aggressive there. And that's it was not a little aggressive, John. It was just still. poorly read. Uh, see what you can do here on the 10th hole. Okay, on to the 10th, turning three under. There's a little hole we're going to be just power fading towards that bunker with the breeze holding us out. And that's worked out beautifully. This one's about 105 yards out. Hmm, let's get rid of that pitch and take it as a, just a pure sand on. Hit a little slow, so we're going to be short. Ooh, maybe we can get a kick left here. We are going to need a kick, John. But that is false front, we'll take care of that. Okay, third shot. They do look funny, those pitches, don't they? Let's take well, our club back six inches one. and hit a ball 15 yards. All right, that's going to keep you at three. Under. Like, devs really need to look Careful at that. There. We got a tail yeah, what she's given us, she's given us an iron. And at 126 yards, seven mile an hour breeze. Oh, I tell you what, we just de-loft this and put it right on that hill. See if we can run it down. It's heading right at the pin. Using the orange slope. Yes, that's delightful. Sit there. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, I didn't like the look of that. Well, I think that deserves better. Okay, second shot on the 11th. It deserves better, if you ask me. That's not going to get up the hill either. That might come all the way back to us. Well, that's a nasty little slope there. Turning, turning. No, we are on the green. He's not happy. I wouldn't be happy either. I thought we read that pretty well. Let's have a look at that green, because that's nasty. We should have... Uh, probably should have played it a little longer rather than trying to... keep it through those swales. I don't think I've hit that either. Always hit it, but Ooh, nice attempt. Get a take bogey. Okay, let's move on. So all of that beautiful planning that on the tee box up to two under par. was for now. This one's clocking in at a par four. Oh, that is just a big pull hook. I think you're gonna wind up in the fairway off the tee. Not here. sure how that happened, John. We didn't deserve okay. to be on the fairway about after that. Seventy-five yards to go here. Little cut on. On a downhiller, take a little smidge off it, get it up onto that hill. Nope, we've underclubbed again, and the slopes have bit us. We're on the green with that one. Well done. Hopefully, you get the right pace on this one. It is extremely cool. really get it up the back there, don't we? Smoke if you got them. That is overstruck. Just three feet left. But we'll take it's our two par. At two under par after, after deconstructing that, that, we've got a little three wood in our hands. Up. Oh, look at this, seven down. Let's put an extra bit of work on this one. Work it off the right side. See if we can end up somewhere near the hole today. A good one. That seemed to work better. This putt is about 11 feet. She's uh, snapping down to let's get it going. Going towards the Oh hole. no, he's underread it again. Mm. All right, this next putt for the par. Kick in par. Staying at two under through two thirteen. Under and here comes We've hole just, number uh, fourteen at us. Had a little rest stop there. And we're back to full power. One oh three. That's a decent that's crack. Okay, setting up around 250 yards 250, or so. 250, gee, I can see trouble here. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll, we'll put a little bit of draw on it and we'll bring it in from the right side, ideally keeping us away from that front bunker. 
Looks okay. Give us a nice kick. Run it up. And that's about as good as it's I could hope for. Next putt for Eagle. Can we make a 17 foot putt. some hay while the sun is shining? Three up, 21 feet. This one's on a that good is going to need to, yes, oh, just catch yes. the left edge. That's gonna go down for there we are, Bacon Eagle. Junkie. An Eagle on 14 to get us back and after that, you're bringing things down to, to four, four under. Car. Another chance to give it a big slash. Nicely done. You got some good contact there. You'd get some good contact, John. 103. These little subtle undulations on the fairway. On the 15th. Says six. 56 yards. We're going to have to just sit down a little. Spin. Yes. That's all right. A good little chance now. Ooh, setting up for birdie here. And gee, that snapped, but we hit it pure day. enough to knock it in. Bring things down to five under par. Okay, another par four ahead of us. Chance to knock one down the middle. And play a little flat lie here. And this shot's about yep. 145 yards out. Just a straight shot in. No spin. It's going to need to release, though. We want it to release more than that. Nothing wrong with that. Safely well, on the green. I figured it might have released. Feet from the cup. But that's a fairly big hill we've hit it into. Probably lucky it didn't slide back down the hill. Ten inches up. It's over here somewhere. Going to need to start braking. Going to have to brake hard. Brake hard. <sighs> right by. Right by. All right, John. And for the par... Oh, around the world in 80 days, but it's hit the bottom. For par, that is okay. Late mile or off the left side. Just put a little cut on it. Just protect the fast. And use the slope to feed it down into the middle of the fairway. Good stuff. And this one's around 20 left. ish to the pin. 220 to there, 233 up to the pin, 10 up, 7 mile an hour. Let's just play it dead straight. Use the breeze to get it up onto the green and the hill on the green to bring it down to the pin. Go be good. Oh, gee oh, whiz. Yeah. There's another green and rag. I'm like that it. is. Here comes a three footer. This one's One of the best approach shots I've okay, hit in a long time. Uh, seven under par for the moment. Takes us to seven through seventeen. Now on the final hole of this course. One left. What can we do here? A little quick, but plenty oh, of room out on nice the left. The fairway, I think. Okay, this one's about one thirty-five. Thirty-five. I'm thinking we're going to need a little bit more, given the fact that. We're into a breeze. That Come is on, not a great off. swing, though. And running back down onto the front half. All right, if you can sink this. A little bit left, a little bit right, a little bit uphill. Let's hit it straight and see what happens. Nothing. If you hit it straight. Five to the cup from here. Looking good. But that is drops and you get end your round with a 65. Pretty happy with that. Bacon Junkie, thank you. Beautiful course. A couple of eagles on the final two holes. The final nine. Thanks for the watch. See you on the next one.